So for this Quiltmas project, we're gonna do a table runner that I've been eyeballing for a very long time, at least since last Christmas at the shop. So we're gonna do the Trim the Tree table runner. I think it's so cute. It looks really scrappy, it looks really fun. We have one that's been hanging around for a year. This is one of the popular patterns at our shop. And I just think it's so cute. And I've always wanted one for myself. So what better time than right now? So I'm going to go ahead and pull from my stash. That's my main goal is to do for my stash. So I've got a bag of green scraps, a bag of red scraps, probably some white scraps, easily some brown for those little tree trunks. And I'm gonna see what I have and also investigate my grunge scraps because that's gonna be another place where I'm gonna be able to find those nice greens for the trees. So I'm gonna investigate my scraps, pull them all out and show you what I got so then we can get to work. So now everything's all cut. I went through my grunge stash for my greens and then my scrap bags for my red and I'm quite pleased with the results. I'm hoping that this being the only printed one doesn't drive me crazy, but it does show on the cover that that's a printed and this one's a little less printed, but I think it'll work. So that's gonna be my inner star. This one is, this dimple is gonna be my outer star. I've got these three grunges, two are from my stash. This one is actually a chunk of an upcoming project that you're gonna see. And then I managed to have enough of this one, this grunge white on white tonal to be my background. So none of this I had to purchase, which is pretty exciting. I have not cut my binding yet because, well, I have enough of this, which is this what it would say, but I kind of want to see it all come together to then determine what the binding's going to be. So I'm going to start piecing and I'll check in with you as I get things done. At this point, I have my two trees and my centerpiece. So now what I need to do is do my star around it and then make my borders. And this little table runner top is gonna be done. So now I've got the table runner all done. Now I think I'm gonna load it on the long arm because I don't feel like chugging this through my machine without a walking foot. 
So I'm gonna pick up some backing. I'm sure I've got some red Kona and see what Pantograph I might use. So I'll check back in once I've got it all loaded and ready to go. We're basted in. I've got this red Kona that's left over from a different project you'll see soon. But I was gonna go with maybe a Christmas design, but I think this just kind of like modern looking one will be really nice on here. I'm gonna use white thread because I didn't want it to detract too much. Or it got help. Oh, she's coming over the side. What is about to happen? Okay, good job, change your mind. Anyways, so we're here. I'm gonna get it ready to quilt and then we're gonna get the binding on in a minute. Got everything all trimmed up, and I think I am gonna go ahead and go with the darker for the binding. I went ahead, I cut two inch strips because I think I wanna do a skinny binding, but we'll see how it looks. Hopefully I don't have to rip it out and do it over again, but let's get some binding on. And here's the completed Trim the Tree Table Runner. I am quite pleased with how this turned out, not only because how super cute it is, but because the only thing I bought for this was the pattern. Everything else came from my stash. I didn't have to buy any backing, and I didn't have to buy any thread. I didn't have to buy any grunge, especially, but it's so cute. So I'll have to make sure I put this on something that is not my actual dining table since as you saw a certain four-legged friend that likes to climb up on my long arm also likes to climb on my table. So this might go on my coffee table so then she's not enticed to sit on a quilt on the table, but it's pretty cute. So it looked cute with some candy dishes on it. Um, little snacks at a party, all sorts of fun. And I really like how this skinny binding turned out. It was a struggle to do because I had to use that stiletto and really wrangle it into place. But I think with this pieced border that it has in the pattern, it really helps show that off and not overwhelm it with an even like thicker binding. Not that two and a half inches is much thicker. I mean, it's a quarter inch bigger, but I think it turned out really cute and I would totally recommend this pattern. I did it in one evening, so you could totally do it in time for Christmas. So I'm gonna post some pictures in here after this and then tomorrow we'll be on to the next Christmas project.